Hello viewers, welcome once again to another episode of Revelations. Today we have with us here our own brother who was a secular musician but now by the grace of God he preaches the gospel. He's called Nazareth. Nazareth, we welcome you to Revelation. Thank you so much. How are you doing, sir? By the grace of God, I'm fixed. We bless Amen. God. Amen. Nazareth has a story to tell the world. So when we come back, Nazareth will tell us about his encounter with God. And you people will learn your lessons from it. My name is Mami Grace. You can follow us on all our social media platforms. Instagram is Jerome2020. Facebook is Mami Grace. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's also Mami Grace. Special thanks to Deco Zone GH. When we come back, you will hear from Nazareth. Stay tuned. Nazareth, welcome to Revelations. Thank you again. What do you have to tell the world? What happened to you? Wow, wonderful. So, um, my name is Nazareth, uh, who used to be a hip life artist by name Denchem. Denchem means crocodile. So, I was raised in a shy man for so many years with the likes of Stoneboy, Pono Stage, Sarkodie, Yausiki, D Crime. These are the people I started rap music with. So, uh, we are the very pioneers of Adom FM. Casa Highway level with Dr. Duncan. It was a rap segment. Saturday, 7 to 10, we are on radio rapping, you know, thinking that is the way through. Okay, so along the line, some of these guys got a chance to come out. Sakodi came out, did crime. The guys were coming out, and some of us were still the same. So one day I sat up with a friend and said, something must be done because look at these guys and where they are heading towards. It is so shameful to meet them today. So we have to do something. Now, fast forward, we like, came to an agreement that we should visit a shrine. But then I was a Rastafarian who didn't know Jesus. I didn't believe in Jesus. I didn't know anything about this man. So um, the way out was let's visit the shrine and get some spiritual backup support from this guy so we can also come out and be great and be known, popular, and make money. We went to this guy, myself and my friend, and the Malam said, I will do everything possible for you guys to make it, but on a condition. Now, the condition was we have to share our blood on his, on his altar, our blood on his altar. And that was the condition he, he gave us before time. So he gave my friend a, a brand new blade, fresh one, to cut the finger and pour the blood of him on his altar. And then speak it, his heart desires, what you want the altar to do for you. My friend did it, I did the same thing. But then we, we were coming up with a joint album. That is why we went together. Okay, so we were recording an album together. So he did it, he poured, he poured his blood on the altar, I poured mine as well. We said to the shrine that whatever, what we wanted what that What you thing. desire. Yes, the reason why we are here. So after that, in the course of the direction, there was a change of language, which I thought it was one of those things. You know, they spoke in an unknown language I never understood. With who? With your friend? My friend and the Juju guy. Okay. 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 And then I thought it was, it was a normal thing. Okay, so after we left for some time, waiting to see the manifestation of what we have, we have done. Now, little did I know that they were, you know, conspiring to use me for sacrifice. Wow. Which I had no idea. So I, it started from my dreams. Anytime I would dream, I would see myself naked, walking in the streets, eating from the ground. After this? After the direction. Okay. I'm a chorus of what, sorry. I'm a doctrines, be I a church or honor. It will not allow you to believe in the Jesus who died and arose on the third day. It was about Marcus Gabi, Martin Luther, Haile Selassie, and all the African. It is historic. Okay, so you soon soon when you mean along the line, I this thing started happening. So let me form. But because of what I have learned and the doctrines, I never believed in these things. Okay, so you went. So all, you know, you are saying you didn't know what God was trying to show I you. You were even knew. thinking it was a mere dream. Yes, a dream. Now, one day at a time, it got to a point when I look at myself in the mirror, okay? I could not recognize my own self in the mirror. So when I look at my face, I go like, no, this is not me. This is something so strange. And when I tell my friends around, they go like, ah, Charlie, now we have one. I can look at your face in the mirror and say, this is not me. So in all this, were you seeing that friend of yours? Oh, we were still around. Were you telling him about the dreams you... I, I didn't knew. Every, those guys around me knew everything and that was going on. he still on. didn't say anything. Nothing was said. And I... I didn't know. No. 
media me my dream kura free sa dia so me fi se bia bibi na ye me ntima my dream ho de me show me ni mo hwe mo no this is my face na me ye mo asem na me ye hwe na from anim because i could not identify the face in the mirror but this is what was the money coming it was, it has, no it has not come yet it was the process so you we, are still you were still we were waiting over this state that's right and you were still having dreaming dreams i was losing my own self i could not recognize myself mm -hmm. okay i got loss of myself it went on and on and on and on me nam kwan ho say na me ho aduane wo form a i hear so clearly with a, with a mighty command take it and eat it just a wo ye bodan ni by force it me me yes me call form and the boss you have to submit and obey the voice you heard because i have sold my soul to a master who is now controlling the, the body so he, what he tells me how to obey so me yes me call form na ma fa aduane wo form a then i will hear another voice ta ben na didi form a and I dey offer the animal form memfa to be the mesako for ma kaka kana ma fa no na ma tisa yen no na me chai it was like like movie series of times i mean a cause there be a daily activity me who got a munsua me me ni so get a munsua ni a crojen it is okay to for you done. to drink exactly it me yes me dey mesako got a mako munsua na there will be another voice that be na no got a munsua and na there obesa wono menom this went on and on asama presby jansen on the way to ajekojo i had this experience many times but nobody could tell me what was wrong i could not know what was happening to me so my mom my mom has to come for me pick me away from a shy man no no to tantra hell so i went to tantra it was hospital to hospital for my salam psychiatric hospital TV. you were taken to asylum. asylum like your your mind is i mean your I bananas are gone <laughs> Out of, out of out of all this you know from asalam psychiatric hospital to pantine psychiatric and then cape coast and kafo the biggest psychiatric in in ghana we visited all of these ones i'm a bomb about them for panier mommy lagatin about them for drew all that it never worked you were mad because you were looking for money that money is all things money answers all Instead kinds of, of things. money you got the exactly because we have shed our blood and then i'm used as a sacrificial lamb for my for brother Wow. my friend which i had no idea so doctors gave up they told my mom they could not tell what was wrong or being to me in chile the air course and this is a dc jime now you know but i'm going to my brother about so and we should be part of the problem and run on me who know and now me to me to me kyle if you would be see we see see the academy in me this is so this is this is when you're the actual bible this is an experience that except you has gone there Tells you how it feels. Okay, it is so deeper. But to me, I got to a point. Me, who me, mamiya? Na me, mamiya, Danny Beast. Na me, ten. They say, Johnny Free, Free, na kung urem. You don't belong here. Until what some baby I'm belong. Pam, pam, walk up, baby. You better watch how you live. Exactly. I just lost myself completely to a stand that everybody around said the guy is off, and they could. There, there, there was no way out. I didn't know Jesus. That I, I can make I say me kwa sorry I could bomb pay here me me ni edi fubi ni me ni so fubi ni na me kwa sorry because but still God was with you. I didn't know that man loves me. I didn't know had no idea. I mean that God Jesus. Oh no, you're fucking crammer me. Sad time. Sad time. No. You're bashing. Okay, can you come see your cemetery? Oh Jesus. The black rasta will tell you all this, but now he's a Christian, a child of God. He knows Jesus. That's right. So I didn't believe. I didn't. Ya ni 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 ya ya jini nyumedi. So what happened? So actually happened. One day at a time from the hospital around town to a hell golden door, you know, I had to visit some friends. And I'm in Nimwom. Now, me me bana uhu me dia me ya fine. Uhu me ya me ya fine. But me. Me, 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 di hunu, me di hunu mono, me nye fine, ma di hunu mono, enti sa, but udo humi ya, I am fine, you know. So in this case, na waka chile wa ma amini ya wako ye. I, no, I, I couldn't, na ma, me, kai. You didn't know it was even the issue. I didn't know that was the reason. Nandu ya si akwe ya mi, akwe ya bi ya, akwe ya bi, te mi fi se bi ya, ya bi bi keke. Oh, ten wu si kana wa juwe ni. Na ma, ma. Ya so no wa juwe ni so we radiye. Me ni su di ya meje yi pa, se ne wu si kano no. Mm-hmm. Adi ya si, enti no, eh, me free hospital, golden door. I ah, made coffee, and then I heard a voice say, "Someone have a phobia. I know if you groom, I'm not here. I pay your house. I will go into a tantra hell. I'm not here. I call Tama. I'm here. Okay, no. I want to meet my mate. I watch it. To me, come across the So go there and, and look at these guys and see what is happening. Me call no be any fear. I got one guy paying off you. And this guy told me, say, "Oh, I'm in a happy now. You know, I'm moving back to me." And he, me never want to catch a way. I'm walking out of the house. No, there was a young lady sitting at the entrance of the house. She was a prophetess. God is so amazing, and He works things 
mathematically in his own time. Mm. I had no idea. Young lady, mm. sister Amma, maybe I will show me. I know ask Amma, somebody will tell you this. Mm -hmm. I will always mention your name. Mm -hmm. Until the next day, my friend came to me and said, I have sister Amma can say it to him. But by that time, still I was in my state. Mm -hmm. I said, Mama, Charlie, it's answer. You've been brainwashed. Until one night at the end of Kenya, mm. two a.m. midnight, and I'm a farm box as or share, but then I sing that good me call. And then me fear, baby, I'm my metal wasn't far from baby, I'm enough of one eternal. And me peer free, you know, everything was cloudy. Take darkness. You see, this thing is we are working on a, do a documentary on this mm -hmm. with Majid Michel, my mm -hmm. brother, big brother, Timothy mm -hmm. Bentum. And they say they will understand it when it is in a movie form. Mm -hmm. So let me see Jenny. Many mm -hmm. who sit here, you know, if mm -hmm. you know, we see any be beyond the many part, hmm, your boy life, your GNE, but as I see, we are we are see, be any here. We do that, and person who say no, many solo my yard, say it is just fun. We are chasing after the wind, yes. has nothing to give. Yes. Now, we are seeing now, Danny, I could not know, I could not see the earth from the everything was rotating, mm -hmm. and then I, I, the a voice was directing me to a place, mm -hmm. and I do. And I went straight into the house where my friend lives. Some and number four, I mean, you way back. I mean, no money where you croom. I tell my pride, maybe a doctor Roku to Ayo Henny. Maybe for the doctor Roku to Ayo Henny where you croom. By the fireside, doctor Roku to my medical. You advertise in the UP. May Bonnie Mobani Manani. Sana boys now, no more, no more, some in the Missomi Ako is up for no. Yamia is some of my suffering. So at that time, when I got there, they were praying. When I got there, they sat me down, started praying for me. I'm from the Kwedu. Kwedu, dear, na ekoso. Ya tete wo hunse bebe. Dear na ekoso. Mo bompa yero mo busa Kwedu. So the lady came from the room. Say, mo busa mo ni ano. Say he no akopeni. Proverbs is so real. When you be be ni ano, you want to be a sub prophet. When you ni ano for your home, you mean you want to do nothing. When you you change nothing. And then they ask me Kwedu, what could be be pain? Because we may call be be a. And they were praying, kiki kiki, bompa yesa. So then the second time the lady said, I saw demons from Benin. And one bunny, and they are well armored. Oh, my dressy pa, or who beside the Susumu, no more so my Tommy. Some Baba Madame, in Tomu to me, Yami. Tomu Musami, yes, I'm only my queen. Tomu Gusumu, some Sami and Pai, one across now. It was like boom, my vision. I saw it like a movie, a movie, a music video. I saw myself, my friend, at the shrine, what we were doing. I said, Oh, make Kaiser be a terminal. When Madame for boy be your call, baby, some Alan be more now. And look, I'm kind of normal, and yet serious, my man. So my who picture been a man, me, you pitch a natural more, Casemu, and I was so bad boy, and I hate it, and Oma, and I yet they, and Oma, you try and Samuja, the blade we try to do Muja go boson, so I come come as what I did, and I hear it now. I said, The lady said, This is the reason why. He has to confess and, and ask for forgiveness. They prayed the whole night the next morning, and then they took me to the spiritual father. I see my friend the bishop, my friend the prophet, my friend the apostle, because mm. I saw for me he's a rich man. The friend of Olumai. Who the boni di? So Olumai and Kroo di. On the Otu Kroo Olumai, I'm going to name him name Olumai. Who me I know so good. So Jinami di. Now some man he sat me down. I spent almost a year with him. It is through the process of being with him for like a year, and when I was coming out of where I was. I just said the next episode because it was like a movie. Jesus is real. But boss, when I summarize my end, the son said, "Be no more. Hey, any who ye be? Some people are doing what you are you are saying right now, and they don't have anybody to talk to. Maybe they are not meet, have not even meet met anybody to pray for them. So what do you have to tell them? Summarize it and let's understand you. Okay, so um, through prayers and directions, I, I saw myself coming out from a dungeon. A mm -hmm. deep hole. Mm -hmm. I was. I saw myself. I was. I was there in the house, mm -hmm. but I saw myself coming out. Okay. You know, the me in me was coming, mm -hmm. and I saw some gradual feeling. Mm -hmm. And gradually, gradually, I came to feel the body. Mm. It is so amazing. Bless Jesus. And then finally, I could recognize the word. Hey, it you had another word that I had and I said, "As a me too." So, do you still remember that music you were going to die for? I have them in mind, but I don't remember any line. Uh, do. Some of the I don't want to sing them at all because mm -hmm. it, it it brought me it brought to me nothing good. So I don't. So want to. what do you have to tell your the young musicians that are coming? Mm -hmm. They are not getting um, producers. producers. That is what they want to do. What do you have to tell them? I just want to advise every young guy, every young girl who want to make money and be famous that Jesus Christ is the only channel. Trust me. Maybe Jesus will watch you on some and vacuum base. Me nini nida me je chini amadi eche me no maji Jesus wedi okay I never believed that man was in existence I never believed that to be no Jesus wedi chini eche me so to you the young girls and the young boys.
Jesus. Eh, nyame, the double Jesus. Ah, for nyame, because of nyame, I won't carry in trouble. Jesus, yes, Christ will want some nyeka, and nyame fufu biya. Jini di na fa ure seni mu, di na semu so na mani tutu wa na mosi ye. O nyango pon double Jesus pe ne betu nyame pe jau. O fa kwa fufu biya so. I said, you go for me, you industry, you a deep crowd, Nechia. Uba ye, Uba ye, Sika, Uba ye, Udi. But Bible said, better is the end of a matter than its beginning. As some never yet, we are chance, I see it. That is what I have to tell them. Yo, we pray God will keep you, Jesus. and whatever you wish, He will give you. Thank you for coming, and may God bless Amen. you. You have listened to Nazareth and everything that happened to him. We have with us here our own one of the finest Reverend Gilbert Osei who is coming to talk to you the one that is in the house watching us going through a whole lot and doesn't know what to do so stay tuned we will be right back You are still watching Revelations. I have with me here now Reverend Gilbert Osei. Reverend, welcome to Revelations. Thank you for having me. Hmm, you heard everything. This yes. is happening in Ghana. So please, what do you have to tell the youth and Christians? Okay, um, first of all, it's important you know that the only solution to the world is the gospel. The Bible says in Romans chapter 1, verse 16, it says, I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation to any man that believes. Meaning that the gospel is the only thing that has power to save a human being. The, the potency of God to save is embedded in the gospel. What is the gospel? The gospel is the death, burial, resurrection of Christ. In such situations, I know there are even people with worse testimonies than that. But there's one key thing we have to know that there is nothing the blood of Jesus can solve. The Bible says that he purged us from all our trespasses. Jesus died for the sins of the world. It shows God's love for humanity. That for God so loved this world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. So in such cases, the only thing we can attend to, it is not the wisdom of men, but the power of God to save is the gospel. There is no sin that is too big for God to save. There is no issue, there is no testimony. I'm sure there are people with less, uh, in quote, sins or higher sins. But the truth is that what Christ did by dying, by being buried, by being resurrected, is the only thing that solves any kind of problem in this world. That's the first part. The second part, that most of the time, like when you listen to a story, it is covetousness if you ask me. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10, he says the love of money is the root of all evil, for which many have gone after they have erred from the faith. So if there is anything that is going to be a problem to humanity, Jesus said you can't serve God and mammon. The, 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 I, I say to my church that the competition between God it's not between God and Satan, no. Satan is a defeated fool. If there's anything that draws people away, it's money. He says the love of money has drawn many away. He says you can't serve God and mammon. Meaning that if there's anything that is going to compete after your life, it's money. And if you don't take care, money comes with fame, money comes with women, money comes with any other thing you want to talk about. So what is the, the focus of the youth of today are you after money and sometimes I, I permit me to say this i i used to do that i by the grace of god and the word i don't do that anymore sometimes our messages from the pulpit is not also helping the youth when the church becomes materialistic and the focus is i want to make it at all costs you are the next to make it you are the next billionaire that came from your house you are the next whatever what are we telling people Impatience is what we are building up in the youth of today. Nobody wants to take their time. The person has not even finished uh, SS. They want to be the next millionaire from where? From okay, their village. Okay, so Papa, this is where I come in. You see, now we see these billboards all over. Um, 
shrines, come for money, come, it's all over. And again, we see churches everywhere, like we are saying, they preach money, give prophecies about how big you can become without putting you in shape or correcting your ways of living. Now, when you see all these billboards in town, the churches keep growing, but some of them and the shrines billboards we see look similar. And the frustration too is very difficult. I mean, monetary aspects. So this one that we have people like you, and then the signboards are there and the people are frustrated. What do you think we can do to take these things out? How do we bring revival to our country? You see, the number one need of every believer is knowledge. Mm -hmm. I think if there's something wrong, is our perception of what Christianity is, mm -hmm. our perception of what the gospel is. Mm -hmm. Christ Jesus came to this world as an example to us. Mm -hmm. And the exemplary life that Jesus lives, that of the disciples, is not what we do now. Mm -hmm. Extravagance, um, all these big things, and it's not the character of Christ. There's nothing about Jesus. Jesus was so humble that if Judas does not betray him with a kiss, you can't differentiate between mm -hmm. him. There's nothing wrong with having money, mm -hmm. but money is not the focus of the church. Mm -hmm. Jesus' message is about souls, mm -hmm. is about people's eternity. Mm -hmm. What the gospel brings, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, is about people knowing who they are in Christ and walking in that knowledge. And one of the things you see with the gospel, the good news that Jesus brought, is contemptness. That even the little you have, contentness is godliness. It's a Christian way. When you see people after things, it means they don't understand the gospel. When we don't preach the true gospel, a fetish priest can even turn into a pastor. Because what we are doing is that we are announcing come for things. Mm -hmm. But Christ didn't say come for things. Mm -hmm. He said come for my life. He that hungers, come and eat of my flesh. Come and drink of my blood. So you, when you have life. So you have life. What Jesus gives is eternal life. And the focus of eternal life is never materialism. It doesn't matter how we paint it. God wants us to have good food, good health and everything. But the focus of Christianity is how we will have eternal life and walk in the benefits of eternal life. But the moment we turn it into come for this because of situations, Problems have never existed only in 2020. Since the days of Mungu Park, even in Jesus' days, poverty was there. Mm -hmm. Jesus was asked, he says, for the poor you have with you always. So even though they are hardship, does it mean you sell your soul? It, 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 you see, life is full of choices. And the choices we make determines the outcome we mm, get. You, you can see you your life. friends. You can see your friends do the things that you wish you have. But sometimes if you go into what they have and what they do, only God knows how they got there. But if you are content with the word of God, when the word of God does not make you covetous, when the word of God teaches you how to accept yourself as you are and that, Jesus says something to a man who came to him in Luke chapter 12, verse 15. He says, a man's life is not the constitute of the things he possesses. Unfortunately, we are being taught to think you said something and I heard you say that it is not what is, is, is not what you drive, it's what is driving you. A man's life is the constitute of not the things he possesses. So if you think life is the car you drive, where you live, all these things have no eternal value. All these things will live on this earth. So after you have gained all these things on earth by killing somebody, by selling your soul, remember that this world is not forever. There is a day the owner of the world will call each one of us. The Bible says we will all stand before that throne of God, unappended to, undisguised. Book shall be open. Is your name in the book of life. Hmm. Okay, Reverend. So now, looking at the youth and how they see things, do you think Ghana would receive revival? Do you think this youth would have a change of mind about Christianity? Because now, Oma Junya Yomobasa, I have faith in the gospel. I have faith in God. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 24, he says that the, the word of the Lord will reach, the gospel shall be preached everywhere, then the end will come. I trust God that truth is coming. The days where it was about materialism, fame, and popularity, those days are numbered. The true Christianity, where the focus is Christ, where the focus is loving your neighbor as yourself, where the focus, everybody wants to be like him as we are created in him. That is where the focus will be. I trust God that the youth of today will get to know 
that not knowing we were wrongly taught. For 25 years of being in ministry, I followed materialism. I thought your blessing is the, the things you owed. Till two years ago, I also had an encounter in the word of God. And I came to understand that it doesn't matter where you stand to preach. It doesn't matter the cars you, you, you have. It doesn't matter the crowd you have. Remember that there is a man we are going to account for. And you ask yourself, are you doing things for your personal gain? Or you are doing things as the master who called you into ministry has mm. called you to do. There is hope for the youth of Ghana. Okay. And you the have, gospel is the hope. You have heard Reverend Gilbert. I am telling you, there is this saying. We've paid all his bills, but his condition is still the same. It simply means money can't save your soul. So Reverend, what do you have to tell this youth that are so frustrated? They are struggling. They have needs. They are of age. Some of them want to marry. They want to work, but they are not getting it. What do you have to tell them? I want to speak to any youth listening to me today that the solution to life and fulfillment is Christ in the gospel. When you understand God's purpose for your life, you are loved. Never feel you need anybody to feel love. For God so loved you, he died for you. Anything that concerns you has been paid for by Christ. Two, what we learn from Christ's death, that even though he was God, he humbled himself even to come to live amongst us. We learn humility from Christ. There are stages in life. You may not be there yet, but that's not the end of life. And there's one thing you should understand. As long as you have where to sleep, what to eat, there's hope for tomorrow. There's somebody who doesn't have hands. There's somebody who doesn't have a place to stay. There are people like us living in war-torn countries. Thank God we can wake up anytime and walk anytime. Just be content with Christ. With Christ, all things are possible. God bless you. Reverend, thank you so much. So viewers, you heard Reverend Gilbert saying you should take your time. I think you should take your time because in his time, he makes all things beautiful. He gave somebody one, he gave somebody two, he gave somebody three, he gave somebody four, and he gave somebody five. Don't look at somebody's life and think you have been left behind. Keep trusting God, keep believing God. Reverend, thank you so much for coming on Revelation. I believe you will pray for us and you will pray for our youth. Ghana will receive revival by the grace of God. We thank you so much for coming. God bless us all. We'll meet again same time next week. God keep you. Bye.